And the red flag is raised, the lights flashing and the gates are open. We have a smooth start to the afternoon's first race, the Diamonds International Piguet Handicap. 1,800 meters is where they're traveling from immediately. And sent to the lead is 9.69 towards the inside for company is one grand. These two have gone just about three lengths clear of the red blinker. The, that is Donny Coded towards the outside island. Cotton against the rail comes the favorite, Voldemort. In between horses, we find Refire. Then against the rail is Celestrum Storm. The back mark at this moment is Felony Fire. And she has spot the field at least nine lengths at this stage. They've done the quarter in 25 and 2 and under the line for the first time. Real Williams with 9.69 is going to take them into the pallet bend. Stumbles a bit. One grand six in second on the third position on the inside. That is Donny coded towards the outside and fourth. That one is Island Cotton against the rail comes Voldemort. Lapped on the outside, refire. In between horses, uh, coming up between horses now is Snow is Celestial Storm. Beg your pardon. The back marker just about seven lengths from the one in front. That one, that is Felony Fire. Presently, she's trailing the field by at least ten lengths. Half mile in 50 and 4. Down the back stretch, it continues to be 9.69. Clear by a length and a half. One grand tracks in seconds. Traveling smoothly. Is Donny coded it being asked to get a little closer? It's Island Cotton, Celestial Storm under the pump against the inside. That one is Voldemort traveling nicely. Refire has a lot of work to do. And at this moment, you can discard Felony Fire. Lightly, you wouldn't change. She wouldn't change that spot. Six furlongs in one, 16 and four. Over the top of the hill on this boxing day. And the lead continues. Change the guard. The front is now one grand who's gone for home with Lester Blind Mice Edwards in hot pursuit. Is the red hot Jarrell because he sits on Donico, did it? Who has at least three lengths to find to come to the corner and they're turning for him. And it's one grand by a length and a half. Donico did it trying desperately. Island Cotton running on the spot. We fire a lot of work to do. Voldemort is beating sort of Celeste or Storm. But it is one grand clearing out by two, two and a half. This is a very impressive performance. Win number two in succession. One grand wins it now by two and a half from Donico, did it in third on the outside. It's Voldemort 4. I make that refire to stop the clock in 1.54 and 3. In a moment, I have a recap for you. Be here. The red flag is raised. We're all set. And the gates are open. And I see they've gone without Jericho to the afternoon second race. So coming across from the outside is Waterbird. On the inside of Waterbird, we get the green blinkers. Red Nose Band of My Friend Patch and Antonio Perch. So they come down the stretch for the first time. It is My Friend Patch against the rail. On the outside is Waterbird. On the outside of Waterbird. In third position, that one is Risk Taker. Then there's Leading Light. Jewel races fifth on the inside. In between horses is Lady Jazz. Table Mate creeping up on the inside is Brave Star. Princess Isabella is with them. And Leviticus is at the back at the moment. And they've done the quarter in 26 and 2. So they're just going to approach the five for long pole and is uh, my friend Patch in front. Jewel taking close order on the outside. These two contest the lead. The next separated them both. In third position, dropping back. That one is Waterbird creeping up on the inside. Is Brave Star fifth on the outside. We get leading light against the rail is Princess Isabella. One ranged up on the outside once again. Having lost contention. That is Risk Taker. Then there's Lady Jazz and Leviticus continues to be at the back of field. Half mile and 50 and two over the top of the hill in the glaring sunshine. And it continues to be my friend Patch, handily by a half of length. On the inside, on the outside, Jewel is trying once again, traveling nicely as Brave Star on the draw backers. Another three lengths back to leading light, who is under some regress. Coming with a run is Lady Jazz coming up against the rail. The back mark at the stage is Princess Isabella there. Have done the six for longs in 117 flat. They come back towards the quarter mark. And they just going to turn for my now. No, and it is my friend Patch, but towards the outside, Brave Star puts it. The red blinkers in front of this brave star, my friend Patch, fighting back, lies between these two, leading light, trying to close on the inside. It is my friend Patch who's resent the challenge of brave star. It is my friend Patch who's going to report home for Stephen Alamado, wins it for Robert Pierce from brave star. Third is leading light, fourth is Lady Jazz. And stop the clock in 140 and two in a moment. I'll have a recap for you. Saying the all six horses got away to a good beginning. Jack Manani yeah, is being hustled away from the shoot, and he's going to cut the early running along with Toko Mai. So it's the black visor Jack Manani Gat on the outside, red with uh, black hoops on the inside. Toko Man in the red with gold sleeves and white cap races second. The green and purple silks of inspired adventures to the outside of the pink colored of dynamite. Then behind these is Charger and Chrissy Chrissy. Is have more to pass with about five for longs to go. The opening quarter was 25 and three. And it's Jack Manani Yat in front by three lengths now from Tokoman. 
Dynamite is on the inside of Inspired Adventure. Charger and the red silks is the outside, and the purple silks of Chrissy Chrissy sees them all as they run the far turn and head up the hearts to the three for long marker. Uh, it's Jack Mananigia in front by a length and a half from Toko Man. On the inside, Dynamite. Inspired Adventure still waiting to pounce. Charger being asked for more run, so too is Chrissy Chrissy. They're at the top of the hill to begin their downhill run to the quarter pole. And it is Jack Manani Gat clinging to the lead. On the outside, here comes Dynamite to ask a question. Inspired Adventure comes three wide a calling. Inside the quarter pole, they come after six and one sixteen flat. And there are no more turns. And Dynamite has the inside lead. On the outside, Inspired Adventure charges, picking them up on the outside. But Inspired Adventure is in front by a length and a half on a right hand drive. Dynamite is second. On the outside, here's Charger to maybe grab second. It's going to be close to them, but they're not going to catch Inspired Adventure. Who wins it now? Close to second between Charger and Dynamite, Jack Manani Gap. And the last one home was Chrissy Chrissy. The winner stops the clock in 140 flat. In a moment, a recap for you. Who's the last one? <laughs> and they're all in. They're off in the Diamonds International, Vina de Amor, and Mascara popped out well, so to Oberoi. Blackrock is being hustled to go to the lead as well from his inside post. Behind these is Justice League. Zip code is at the back of the field with the girls and Sugar, and they're 10 lengths off of Blackrock, who's dictating the early factors with Mascara as they swing into the stretch for the first time. At the rail, it's the juvenile champion, Blackrock, who leads from Mascara. Three wide is the classic winner, Oberoi. Down toward the inside is Justice League. These four have gone six clear of Zip Code, who's being waited with this afternoon. And the trail is the girls and sugar under the line. They go for the first time. And Black Rock's well held by Trotman to the five and a half. The opening quarter in a pretty quick 25 and two. At his net throughout has been Mascara. These two go three clear of Oberoi. Justice League now goes to the outside of that one. And he's still fourth, Zip Code. His position has not changed. He's not made up any ground either past the five long marker. And the trailer is the girl some sugar as they race to the half mile pole. And Black Rock has let out every call. Mascara is second. Oberoi gets closer too with Rashid Hughes. Also zip code trying to get into it. As he makes up some ground, he comes within six lengths of the lead. The girl some sugar is still last enough. Six lengths off as they get over the top of the hill. And it's Black Rock through a half. Hit 50 and one. Past the three full on marker, Black Rock leads. Mascara is trying to tackle him. Oberoi is all in down to the wars. The real in third Justice League traveling well in fourth. Zip code is being let loose. The girls and sugar has to really pick it up as they come inside the final quarter mile. And it is still Black Rock who's tenacious toward the inside out. White is Justice League in between horses is Mascara Zip Code coming for White as they turn for home. And anybody's races they come inside the final furlong. Black Rock Obroy. And here's Zip Code over the top. Zip Code patiently ridden. And he comes to the front. It's Zip Code from Obroy. The girls and sugars coming alive up the inside. Zip Code, the page has really turned. And this may be the start of a burgeoning career. Zip Code wins from Obroy. Then came the girls and sugar. Mascara Justice League. And Black Rock was the last one home in 156 flat. In a moment, a recap for you. Storm, red flag is raised. And uh, away they go. Peruvian was sharp away. He ducked in really as they tried to sort themselves out. Quality star and lollipop picks up. So lollipop is going to blaze the way as they come down the stretch for the first time. Don't doubt Doris is second. Quality star is third. There's a break of three to the favorite stealing. And to the outside is the first time star at ice. Down toward the inside. Unexpectedly at the back of the field. Peruvian and into the storm trails. There's Six nights to make as Lollipop was a bit tough to go on the top turn, which leaves Quality Star to inherit the lead. So Quality Star now leads from Peruvian, who made his way from second last right up to into second. But Lollipop now takes over second as Peruvian's back to third. Stealing is fourth into the storm is fifth ice is six and the trailers don't know doris as they go over the top of the hill it's quality star who's still at the head of affairs lollipops now second ceiling is getting closer in third peruvian is fourth then comes ice who just overtook into the storm and don't doubt doris is not getting into it she's getting no traction with three furlongs to go and quality star still leads lollipop is second stealing is third ice is now into fourth peruvian's back to fifth into the storm and you can re disregard 
Don't don't Doris is the race down the hill and there's still quality star well in hand. Lollipop now comes to his net and behind these is stealing. The others are out of it as they come to the mile marker. And quality star is now tested by two fillies and stealing coming over the top. Puts ahead in front. Lollipop is trying to be brave and battle on in between horses as they come to the judge. And it is stealing who's asserting her dominance inside the final furlong. She just blew on by everybody as they come inside the final furlong. It's stealing from here. Just a matter of how far her and Ricky Walker are dominating the boxing day juvenile trophy. And it is going to be stealing races in races, newest prince's crown, and stealing reins from a close finish between Quality Star, who edged Lollipop for second. Ice was fourth, then came Peruvian into the storm. And don't doubt Doris, start her last, stay last, and finish last. In a moment, a recap for you. And they're all in, and they're racing. And Ami Ash brought very smartly, but King of the Valley wants to lead and he goes through and picks it up. So it's King of the Valley from Ami Ash with a mile to go. Jack Stewart is up early this afternoon, just taking second now along with Ami Ash to dispute that position. Then on the inside is Sarah Moon. Behind Sarah Moon, towards the outside, is Riddick. Then there's Sancho Pay between horses. And then we find Lipstick. And behind Lipstick is. Mr. Brook, Golden Pearl is the next one through. And the one actually at the battlefield is Jack Stewart, and J.B. Cloud has refused. As they round the paddock bend, the opening quarter was a pedestrian, 26 and 3. And it's King of the Valley in front by a length and a half. From on the inside, the favorite, Ami Ash, stalking. Along the inside, Firecrock is third. On the outside of Firecrock is St. Sancho Pay. Then there's Riddick. A break of a length and a half to Sailor Moon, another length and a half to Lipstick. And then Golden Pearl, five or six lengths behind that leading bunch. And the back marker is Mr. Brook, who's already hard ridden as they're around the far turn. And they've got just a the half mile left to go. And uh, Ami Ash has gone for home, opening up by three lengths from King of the Valley. San Trope races into second. There's a long break to Riddick as they come to a quarter pole now. In the six and one, fifteen and two. And it's Ami Ash opened up by seven. San Trope running a stout race in second, trying to close the gap. Kim the Valley staying on in third. But they say the quarter pole and Ami Ash has no challengers in front and the left hand drive. Opens up by two and a half on the outside. San Trope gets right hand in encouragement, but he's not going to get there. Close your butts. Class dismissed. Ami Ash is going to romp home. Opens up to win by a six or a seven. Widening length, easy does it. Second with Sancho Pierre, King of the Valley was third. Lipstick runs out the top four, and the winner stops the clock at 1.56 and 1. In a moment, we'll be back with a recap for you. Okay. Racing and Miss Megan brought very sharply from between horses on the outside. Torbrook goes up. Then there's Royal Flush. Similar across from the outside is Mr. Busanga. Andale Jewel has been for early speed. There's two is This Means War along with Bourbon Street. As they head towards the half mile marker. Uh, it is now Mr. Busanga who opens a length and a half from Miss Megan. The one zipping up on the outside is Seb Code. On the inside, Royal Flush, Bourbon Street is next. As they come inside the three furlong marker, the opening quarter was 25 flat. And it's Mr. Busanga, just the leader from Miss Megan. Sebco waiting to punks. Down inside is Bourbon Street. One rounding up from the back of the field. Looks like uh, this means war as they come inside a quarter pole. And uh, Miss Megan has come to the front. On the outside, here comes Sebco to ask a challenge. It's Miss Megan on the inside. On the outside, Sebco coming to ask with determined effort. Miss Megan on the inside. On the outside, Sebco. They're running out of real estate. Miss Megan and Sebco. Sebco just getting up on the outside just to deny Miss Megan. In the dying strides, then can't handle it. Jury from a long way back and rounding out the top four. Was Mr. Busanga the winner stopped the clock in 107 and 4? Yeah. 
racing and everyone got off to a good beginning and as expected infrared is hustled out to the front end by Rashid Hughes just a flash on the inside is gonna, gonna go on and take him one as well so it's just a flash and an infrared these two Ricky Walker to Rashid Hughes, the leading rider is up on the front end. Then there's a break of a length and a half or two to Marcus Antonis in the red cap. In the black cap for Sir David Seal is daunted. And Marcus Antonis has gone down. And that leaves just five runners headed towards the five low marker. And it's just a fashion, the leader. A length and a half from Infrared, who's second. Then Daunton David. Dorset is on the inside of Princess Tiana. As the opening quarter was completed at 24 and 3, they head towards the half mile mark around the far turn. And it's just a fashion. In front by two and a half from infrared. On the outside, Daunton David is third. Dorset is hard ridden. Prince Tiana also under the pump. They go past the three for low mark of the opening half, 49 and 1. And it's just a fashion. In front by two lengths from infrared, who comes under hard right. On the outside, Dorset is fourth on between these two. It's Daunton David. Princess Tiana remains about marker. Inside the quarter pole, there comes six and one, 13 flat. And just a fashion is the one to catch. He's in front by two and a half. On the outside, here comes Dorset with a ground run. Infrared is beaten. It's just a fashion under a right hand drive. Dorset is running at him. Just a fashion and Dorset. Just a fashion and Dorset. Dorset picks him up, puts him away. Dorset wins. It. The writer celebrates just the fashion in second. Infrared is third. Then came Princess Tiana. And the last one home was Daunting David. And the winner stops the clock in 136 and 3. In a moment, we'll have to recap for you. He's in now. So they're all in. And they're racing and all the way. And Jimmy Trey broke smartly, but Devils County Show Speed and St. Nicholas was a super on the outside, along with Danny Boy. So it's St. Nicholas and Danny Boy. These two open up from Cipriani. Down the inside is Devils Candy. Way she went is up early. Jimmy Trey has dropped back to mid division. Then there's Forgotten Romance and Saddle's Dream Racing as a team. A break of about five lengths before you get Daring David. Four or five lengths to Verdon, another three back to Easter Monday. The opening quarter was 26 and 1, as they're going to turn towards us now for the first time. It's St. Nicholas at the red head gear who leaves. Danny Boy pulling double on the middle of the course. On the outside, way she went is really keen for young Trotman, seeking his first win. Then there's Devil's Candy. Salad Stream takes closer order with Edwards. Jimmy Cherry is along the inside. Priyani to horse is out with a circuit to go. Then there's Forgotten Romance, Daring David, Verdon, and Easter Monday has all to pass after a half mile in 52 and 2. They're on the far, on the paddock band ahead towards the five long marker, and St. Nicholas is the leader. From Danny Bonnie inside, where she went to the outer. Then Devil's Candy. Salah's Dream goes up on the outside. Jimmy Cherry, afterward, not panicking yet. Cipriani is next. Forgotten Romance. It's hard ridden as they pass the departure point. Six and one, 18 flat. And St. Nicholas continues to lead from Danny Boyd. The way she went is third on the inside is Devil's Candy. Jimmy Cherry is the next one through. Sallers Dreams run seems to have flattened out as they come past the three for low marker. Six and one, 18 flat. And uh, it is St. Nicholas front from a length and a half from Danny Boy on the inside. It's Devil's Candy. Chimmy Cherry's next. Where she went has had enough. So has Sadler's Dream. And it's like the quarter pole that come. The mile in 143 and 3. And they're homeward bound. And it's St. Nicholas on the left. I drive on the outside. Danny Boy gets right handed and encouraged. But Devil's Candy coming along the rails. Wait on the outside. Here's Chimmy Cherry. It's Danny Boy on the inner of course. On the outside. Chimmy Cherry. St. Nicholas hanging tough at the wire. It's Danny Boy. May just have held on. From Jimmy Churry, down the inside was Devil's County, and rounding out the top four was St. Nicholas, and the last one home was Verdant. In a moment, we'll just back with a recap for you. All in. Racing and Javeler broke very smartly on the inside, but watch that birdie. Goes straight through and picks it up. So it's Watch That Birdie who leaves from on the outside. Just Javelier relegated to third. Power Tool is next. Then on the outside is Preacher Boy. Rockley on the inside. Only on Sunday. Leaping Leopard 
Austin Swimmer and Brute Force sees them all as they run the far turn and head up the hill towards the three for long marker. And it is Schultz who goes through and picks it up now from Watch That Birdie. Power Tool is third. Only on Sunday is the next one through. Then Preacher Boy and Javelier Rockley. Leaping Leopard has two beaten. And these are Austin Swimmer and Brute Force. The opening quarter is 25 and 2. As they come towards the quarter pole, it is Schultz, the leader by a length and a half. From Watch That Birdie. Javelier comes storming into third. Only on Sunday is next. Power Tool falls away. And there are no more turns for 2017. And Schultz is under right hand driving command between horses. Watch that birdie. And on the outside, here's Javelier sweeping by. And he's going clear. Javelier, what a performance. Absolutely stunning. Robert Pierce, champion trainer, reigns the year in the way he wanted to. Javelier weighs it from Schultz. Watch that birdie. And only on Sunday, round out the top four. The winner stops the clock in 106 flat. In a moment, we'll be back with a recap of the day and the year's racing.